In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the two column product bullets by unlimited elements. To get started in the widgets pane, I'm going to search for the word two, two column product bullets, drag that inside of my column. And now you can see how this looks. So it's sort of a widget that's made of three columns. In the middle column, there's an image. And on the left side, there are bullets pointing to the center. And on the right side, there are bullets pointing to the center. So this is kind of for overviewing your product or service or whatever you want to do. The first setting I'm going to go over is the image. So over here, you can put any image you like. And I'm just going to switch this to this image. And now you can see how nice of a layout that we've achieved with minimum resources. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down into items and over here you can see that we have two items and each item consists of the left title, the left content, the right title and the right content. So each one of these items is also for the left side and the right side. If we duplicate one of these, it will add also on the left and also on the right. So you can duplicate as many as you want. Decide if you want eight or six, for example. So if I want six, I'm going to delete the last one that I've just added. And this looks really nice. Jumping back into the general settings. So I'm going to click over here. And in bullet padding, this is the padding around each bullet. So if I change this, and push this up using the mouse or the keyboard. I'm using the keyboard right now, up and down keys. You can see it spaces between the different bullets and you can achieve the spacing that way. So I'm just gonna push this up a little bit more and look how nice that is. What a cool layout. Next thing is the bullet circle size. This is a circle over here, so it can be bigger or smaller. I really like subtle designs, so I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to even make it smaller than it was. It was 10 and I'll go for, let's say, 7. Perfect. That looks great. The next one is the space under the title. This is the space between the title and the description. So if you want to space this out more, you can play around with that as well. Bullet line height is the line over here. It's this line that's directing us to the bullet and you can play around with the width over here for the lines so let's leave that at one so i even smaller than it was it was two and i changed it to one and now we have all the color settings so actually there are four elements over here there's the title the description the bullet itself and the line so over here you have four colors to change any one of these four bullet line color is the line itself so right now i think it's okay i'll make it a bit lighter to make it more subtle bullet color is the circle the small circle over here i'm going to change that to black perfect looks good title color i think we can leave that as black as well and the description color also i can change it to darker or brighter using any one of the colors in my color picker. Perfect. The next two are for the typography. So we have two different types of elements. We have the titles and the descriptions. So if I go over here into title typography, click on the pencil. Now I can play around, for example, with the size of the titles and I can maybe change. Let's change the text to something else, maybe a bit bolder. And you can play around with that as much as you like. Perfect, looks nice. The description, let's click on the pencil, scroll down. And over here in size, I can play around with the text size. So for example, I changed it to 14, now it's a bit smaller and looks even cooler. So that was a quick overview of the two column product bullets you can use it for anything you want to showcase and show some features and stuff like that. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.